in the city of Lagos where the Atlantic Ocean kissed the shores. There was a beach known for its serenity and mystique, Elegushi Beach. This beach was a favorite spot for many Lagosians, a place where the worries of the world seemed to fade away with each crashing wave. But hidden beneath its calming exterior was a tale as old as time, a tale that few knew and even fewer dared to believe. Adebayo was a young ambitious man in his late twenties, full of dreams and aspirations. He had recently secured a promising job in a top tech firm in Lagos and was finally feeling the fruits of his hard work. Yet, despite his successes, something was missing in his life. Every weekend, he would escape the pressure of the city to find solace at Eleguchi Beach, where he would sit for hours watching the waves lost in his thoughts. One Friday evening, just as the sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, Adebayo decided to visit the beach. There was something different about that day, a pool he couldn't resist as if the ocean itself was calling him. He arrived at the beach just as the last few rays of sunlight kissed the horizon. The beach was unusually empty with only the distant sound of waves and the occasional cry of seagulls. As Adebayo walked along the shores, he noticed something glimmering near the water's edge. Curious, he approached and found a strand of what seemed to be the finest seal, shimmering in the fading light. It was unlike anything he had ever seen, and as he picked it up, he felt a sudden chill run down his spine. Before he could dwell on it, he heard a soft melodic voice singing, a voice so enchanting that it stopped him in his tracks. He looked around but saw no one. The singing grew louder and more captivating, drawing him towards the ocean. Without thinking, Adebayo followed the sound, his feet sinking into the wet sand as he approached the water. Then he saw her. Sitting on a rock partially submerged in the water was the most beautiful woman he had ever laid his eyes on. Her skin glowed with an otherworldly light and her long flowing hair cascaded down her back like a waterfall of midnight. Her eyes deep and mesmerizing locked onto his and Adebayo felt his heart skip a bit. Who are you? He managed to whisper, his voice barely audible over the sound of the waves. The woman smiled, a sad yet enchanting smile and replied, I'm Ronkeji, a child of the sea. Adebayo was entranced. He had heard stories of mermaids or mummy water as they were called in Yoruba folklore but he had never believed them to be true. Yet here she was, a living embodiment of the tales his grandmother used to tell him as a child. They talked for hours as the night grew darker, the moon casting a silver glow on the water. Moronkeji told Adebayo about her world beneath the waves, a world of beauty and mystery, but also one of loneliness. She spoke of how she had watched him for weeks, drawn to his gentle nature and the sadness in his eyes. I am cursed, she said softly, her voice tinged with sorrow. I am bound to the sea, unable to step foot on land for long. But when I saw you, I felt a connection, something I have never felt before. Adebayo's heart ached for her. He couldn't explain it, but he felt a deep bond with Moronkeji, one that transcended the boundaries of their worlds. He wanted to be with her, to ease her loneliness, and in turn, fill the void in his own heart. As the night wore on, Moronkeji warned him, Adebayo, our love is forbidden. The sea does not take kindly to those who try to steal its children. If we are discovered, the consequences will be there. But Adebayo was undeterred. I don't care about the consequences, he said firmly. I want to be with you, Moronkeji. I will do whatever it takes. Moronkeji's eyes filled with tears. There is a way, she whispered, but it is dangerous and you must be certain of your choice. If you wish to be with me, you must bring me a pearl from the deepest part of the ocean. It is a symbol of commitment and it will protect us from the wrath of the sea. But beware, the journey is perilous and many have lost their lives in the attempt. Adebayo didn't hesitate, I will do it, he said, determination burning in his eyes. The next day, he returned to the beach at dawn, ready to embark on his quest. Moro Nkeji appeared at the water's edge, her face a mask of worry. I wish I could go with you, she said, her voice trembling. But this is something you must do alone. Remember, the pearl lies in the heart of the ocean, guarded by forces that do not wish to see it taken.
With one last look at Moron Keji, Adibayo dove into the water, swimming deeper and deeper until the light of the sun could no longer reach him. The ocean was dark and foreboding, but Adibayo pressed on, guided by the love he felt for Moron Keji. Hours passed, or maybe it was days. Time had no meaning in the depth of the ocean. Finally, Adebayo reached the ocean floor where he saw the pearl glowing softly in the darkness. But as he reached out to take it, a voice echoed through the water, a voice that chilled him to the bone. Who dares to steal from the sea? A massive sea serpent, its scales glistening in the dim light, emerged from the shadows, its eyes fixed on Adebayo. Live now or face the wrath of the sea, the serpent hissed, its voice filled with menace. But Adebayo was resolute. He knew that turning back meant losing Moronkeji forever. Summoning all his courage, he grabbed the pearl and began to swim upward, the serpent hot on his trail. The chase was relentless and Adebayo's lungs burned as he fought to reach the surface. Just as he thought he couldn't hold his breath any longer, he broke through the water, gasping for air. The serpent, unable to follow him onto land, let out a furious roar before disappearing into the depths. Exhausted but triumphant, Adebayo made his way back to the shore. The pair clutched tightly in his hand. Moronkeji was waiting for him, tears of joy streaming down her face. You did it, she whispered, her voice full of awe. You truly love me. Adebayo smiled, pulling her into his arms. I would face any danger for you, Moronkeji. But their happiness was short-lived. The sky darkened and the waves began to churn violently. A deep rumbling voice echoed across the beach. You have defied the sea, and for that you must pay the price. Suddenly, the waves surged forward, wrapping around Adebayo's legs and pulling him towards the water. Moronkeji screamed, trying to hold on to him, but the sea's grip was too strong. No, Adebayo shouted, struggling against the force. I won't let you take me, but it was too late. The ocean was unforgiving, and despite his efforts, Adebayo was dragged into the water. As he sank beneath the waves, he saw Moronkeji's face, a look of utter despair in her eyes. The last thing Adebayo saw before darkness claimed him was a pearl glowing faintly in the water, a symbol of a love that could never be. But this was not the end. Adebayo awoke on a beach, the sound of waves crashing in his ears. Disoriented, he sat up, realizing he was back on Elegushi Beach. The sun was shining, the sky was clear, and everything seemed as it had been before, except for one thing. Moronkeji was nowhere to be seen. He searched the bridge frantically, calling her name, but there was no sign of her. Just as he was about to give up, he noticed something in the sand, a small shimmering pearl. He picked it up, his heart heavy with the realization that Moronkeji was gone. But as he held the pearl, he heard her voice faint but clear in his mind. Adebayo, our love is eternal. Though we cannot be together in this world, I will always be with you. Hold on to the pearl and know that I will never forget you. With tears in his eyes, Adebayo clutched the pearl to his chest. He knew that the sea had taken Moronkeji from him, but it had also given him a part of her to keep forever. And so, Adebayo returned to his life in Lagos, but he was never the same. He no longer felt the emptiness that had once plagued him, for he knew that in some way, Moronkeji was still with him. Every time he visited the beach, he would sit by the water, the pearl in his hand, and feel her presence beside him. The love between a man and a mermaid was never meant to last, but in Adebayo's heart, it would endure for eternity. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are yet to. Your support means the world to us. Thank you and have a nice day.